everyone. My name is Ashley. I'm an analog collage artist and zinester, and today we are going to go through the entire collage making process step by step. I love collage. It is an amazing medium. It is so much fun, a great way to express yourself, and the best thing about it is that it's very simple to get started. All you need is something sharp and something sticky. For cutting tools, I recommend having access to both scissors and a craft knife. For larger objects, I use this lovely pair from a Japanese company called Nakabayashi. For smaller objects and precise cuts, I use my all-time favorite scissors. These are the Fiskars Easy Action Nonstick Precision Scissors. As you can see, these are well-loved by me, and these are great because they are very comfortable to cut with for long periods of time. The craft knife situation is a very sensitive and touchy subject for me. Craft knives are absolutely foundational to the collage practice, but I am terrible with them. A lot of people use the Exacto craft knife brand, but I struggle with them a lot, so I saw this one on Instagram and bought it. This is from a company called Fantasticar. This knife is a lot shorter than the Exacto knife is. It also has a thicker handle and a better grip, and I find that I'm able to get some more control with this knife, so I've been practicing with it more. I still like use my scissors about 98% of the time, but I've been trying to get better with the knife because there are sometimes it, like certain places on images that you need to cut through that your scissors can't quite reach. So that's where the craft knife comes in handy. If you're going to use a knife, you wanna have one of these. This is a self-healing cutting mat and it protects your work surface. For my something sticky, I use double-sided tape. These are the adhesive squares by Scotch. I was very skeptical about these at first, but now I am a full-on convert. I use a lot of vintage material in my collages, and oftentimes wet mediums like glue can wrinkle or buckle the pages when you're not careful and it could ruin the collage, but that's not an issue at all when you're using a dry medium like tape. These are also acid-free and archival, and you want something that's acid-free and archival because it's going to keep your collages looking good for longer periods of time and prevent things like discoloration, so definitely recommend double-sided adhesive squares to use. For my substrate, I will be collaging in my sketchbook, which is 9 by 12 inches and full of mixed-media paper. All right, let's get to the good stuff, the collage elements. I have a gigantic stack of papers in front of me that comes from my National Geographic collection. I have issues ranging from the late 1940s up to about 1983. I get the majority of my collage materials from eBay. I just type in vintage books or vintage magazine lots like National Geographic, Ebony, and Life, and I see what comes up and I buy things in bulk. I also shop a lot at used bookstores antique stores sometimes, although they are a little bit more on the expensive side, and I'm very fortunate to have friends and family that will donate materials to me for free. I do occasionally buy, and by occasionally I mean more frequently than I would care to admit, um, buy new books from places like Amazon and Barnes and Noble. That's a little more controversial. A lot of collage artists only use things that are used or secondhand. But if I come across a book that's full of images that I know I'm going to use and the book I can get a lot of mileage out of, I don't mind paying full price and using a new copy. It's again a little controversial, but it's very difficult for some people in some places to find things to collage with in the first place. So wherever you can find your images, it's perfectly okay. Even if you find things online and print them out, if you can collage with it, it's totally valid. So what I do when I have my stack of images that I've cultivated is make two piles. And you'll see as we go through this that a lot of my collage making process is making different piles. But for the initial pile, I put to my right things that inspire me and to my left things that I like but I want to save for a later occasion. So for example, right off the bat, I like this but I don't love it so it goes in the later pile. Sad clown, later pile. I like this image of this man, so let's put that in the yes pile. Later pile. Yes pile. Yes pile. Yes pile. Later pile. And this is not by any means an intellectual process. I'm not even really thinking at all. This is purely intuition and inspiration. I just look and I make a snap decision. 
later. I find that it's best to not think a ton when I'm making my initial pile of images because then that just opens up opportunities for things like choice dis fatigue, decision fatigue, self-doubt, and we don't want any of that to get in the way of the creative process itself. Okay, so we have our first pile, and it's at this point that I become more thoughtful and intentional about the images that are going to go into the final collage. Typically, when I'm doing this flip through, I'll see an image and I'll decide in that moment that that's what I want to use. However, I didn't have that moment just now, so I have no idea what I'm going to collage with. So I'm going to go through this pile a second time, slowly, and see you know, if there's any subject matter or focal point that really does inspire me the most. Um, so we're going to separate this larger pile into multiple piles. Let's do like a focal point, what I call the main character pile on the right, and then like a texture pile to the left. I think a lot of things are in here are gonna be texture, unfortunately. So like this is texture, this is texture, main character. Um, texture. Hopefully doing this, I will see something. Texture, texture, okay, characters. Um, these could be characters, but I wanted them probably for texture. Um, I don't really know what I'd classify flowers as. Let's just put them in the texture file. Texture file, character. Um, it's an object, it's not a texture, but we'll just say texture. Texture, character. Okay, so I have more to choose from in the main character pile than I thought. Right off the bat, I am really interested in the man on this cover. There is a lot going on here, a lot of great colors, uh, very interesting, very bold, and could definitely be some good subject matter. So he is a contender. I also liked this. Um, the caption describes him as a court gesture. And what I like about this picture is that I can almost hear it. Um, and there's something about activating all of the senses in art, you know, cause it's a, it's a visual medium. So like when you can make something that like incorporates other senses like sound, I think that's really powerful. And looking at this photograph, I can hear this horn. Also, I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera or not, but you can see like beads of sweat falling down his face. That's just really interesting to me. So he's also a contender. This was really pretty, but I'm not really inspired by it right now. I thought he was really interesting, but also not super inspired. There was one other that I saw um, that I want to play with, and it's this one. This little boy, I'm trying to remember which country, uh, Panama. No real reason why I like this so much. I just think it's a fascinating photograph. I wonder what he's thinking. And I wonder where we can place him to kind of draw out some of the beauty in his, his dress, his paint. So let's make a decision. Nothing else, I mean, there's other cool stuff in this pile. And it, I always feel like a little guilty, like these are not rejects, of course. Uh, these are all things that I will be collaging with at a later time, just not at this moment. So setting them aside, but I'm not setting them aside because they're bad, they're not going in the recycle bin. They're just being cast aside for a later date. So of these three, which one do I want to collage with the most? I think really, this is cool, but I it's between these two, if I'm being honest. We have this man or this young boy. Hmm. 
Let's see. I think I think it's I think it's him. I think he is the winner right now. I mean, we can always make more than one collage today, but let's not get too ambitious. It's a little late, I'm a little tired, but I'm gonna do my best. I wanna at least make one. So I wanna do something with him. And let's see what we have in our textures pile that we can play with. I'm liking maybe putting him with this picture of the moon. That could be fun. Maybe we could do a space thing. Maybe we have, let's see what we have. Um, make another pile this time to accompany our young man. I like this. I'm thinking about this. Let's see. I don't know if I want to do all black and white. That might be a little, what's behind here? That might be a little boring. Some blues could be cool. This could be something interesting. This could be interesting. This is pretty, but it's not this. Well, that's pretty. Let's put that in, let's put that in the, the maybe pile. This could be cool. This could be something. Save so our mushroom cloud for later. These mountains have potential later. These camels could be something. Let's see, later, later, later. And right now I'm just going kind of based off of intuition. A lot of my process is intuitive. That's something that I've been working on this year is to be a more intuitive creator. Not think so much. Um, I'm a chronic overthinker, so just feeling my way through a piece is really important to me. Okay, I like the moon and I like this young man. Um, what do we want? What do we want to say with him? What story do we want to tell? The type of collaging that I do, my particular style. All of my collages have a story, but I don't want to tell them in a very literal way. I like the meaning to come out through the colors and textures that, that we create, the sort of vibe that all of that gives off. And that way, the meaning can be interpreted by different people in different ways. So um, when I was reading this earlier, it says that this image is from a celebration. So he's in a... He's in a good place. He's in high spirits. Maybe we want to take him on some type of journey to a place he can't imagine, like outer space, like to the moon. Maybe that's what we want to do. I just think these are pretty. Hmm. I think this color, we could do something fun with these colors. Not so much, this purple was throwing me off a little bit. I'm interested in these camels. I've been like kicking this around for a while because um, I'm thinking of like that movement, that journey. Maybe that's, maybe he's going somewhere. Maybe they're taking him somewhere. Maybe they're taking him to the moon or taking him somewhere different. Cityscape, gonna say no to that. Oh, we we do have a literal rocket ship. But that, again, that's like, it's too literal. So no, just have a pretty picture of the sky. Gonna say maybe on that one. And these mountains. Mountains are, are also going to be a maybe, okay. Set all of that aside and let's lay out what we've chosen. And just doing, doing this multiple times just helps me start putting things together. Okay, 
So we have, we have some options here. We have some things we can play with. I'm going to move on to my favorite part of the entire collage making process, and that is cutting everything out. I just find it very satisfying, it's very fun, and it's also really soothing. everything has been cut and trimmed and now it's time to move on to composition I'm not entirely sure what I want to do so let's just start laying some elements down and see what works our young boy is our focal point our centerpiece our main character and I wanted to use the moon at least I thought I did the fun thing and the thing about it is that just because you choose something originally does not mean that it has to go in the final piece. You can always edit, change your mind, add more things, subtract some things, perfectly fine. So I thought I wanted this moon, but it might work out that I don't end up using it. And that's perfectly okay. because I'm not sure how I feel about it. He originally, like when it was in the magazine, it had more of like a black and white sort of tone, but on its own, I'm picking up more notes of like blue and green. And so the moon itself, the black and white of the moon itself is no longer really appealing to me. Let's, for some reason, I'm really interested and I, for some, I don't know why, it's so stupid. It's not stupid. It's just it's just really silly. This like greenish thing from this watch ad. I don't know why this texture is so appealing to me, but I just think it would go really it would just go great with him. So some cutting tools I didn't talk about. I have some decorative scissors and these really fun uh, shape hole punches. I have circles and different sizes some triangles and some squares. So I'm going to pull those out and work with them. I want to take my decorative scissors. Let's see, just pick a random one. Uh, these are pinking and I'm just going to make a decorative edge. These don't cut the greatest, but um, that's fine. I just really like to have a fun edge sometimes. Ripping paper is also fun as well. which you kind of have to do with these because these are not the greatest of all time. Okay, so let's do that. I'm also going to give him a little torn edge at the bottom there. Okay. I don't know why I like this together so much. I just do. I. Again, it's inexplicable, but some things just you just get drawn to. I like that. Hmm. Maybe we can make a moon. Let's take my little circle hole punch. Oh, I got this amazing tip to flip it upside down, and that way you can see when you feed the paper in what it is that you're cutting exactly. That was, um, someone left that comment on one of my videos and that was absolutely genius. Thank you so much for sharing that with me because I would have, that would have never occurred to me. Okay, so we have a little moon here. I like that. And let's see, 
let's revisit or let's visit rather because we haven't we haven't tried it yet i'm interested in this little mountain range situation let me take my precision scissors though and define the mountains themselves let me cut them out Maybe he's still going on a journey, but it's not necessarily to the moon. Maybe he's grounded in the earth and experiencing the beauty of his home planet while still having ambitions of seeing something more. Maybe that's the story we're telling. Okay, and let's take a different pair of decorative scissors, one that probably cuts a little better. Let me see, I have several pairs. Uh, this is Arabian, let's try, let's see if these, if I could cut straight, that would also be ideal, but I can't. Okay, um, choo choo choo. Let's see, let's put, do we want this somewhere? Hmm. I like how this is peeking out. like that. Kind of hid the mountains a little bit more than I intended to though. But I like that. I like these colors. It's very muted. I normally use like bolder pinks and all kinds of things like that. But this is, uh, this is cool. I'm feeling it. I'm into it. I don't know what it means, but that's okay. Ooh, we have little camels. I've been wanting to use these camels in a collage for a week now. I can't let them go. This time I'm going to give them a ripped edge. I'm still thinking of sending him on a journey. So. Camels still are fitting the theme. How about there? And maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I like this where it is. So wait, do I? Hold on. I liked how I had it until I messed with it, and <laughs> and now I'm not certain about it anymore. Composition is also really fun. It's just fun to, it's like a puzzle. To me, collaging is a puzzle and playing around and seeing where things fit together, if they don't fit, trying different things out. Um, I don't want this to be that long, so let's set that up. Like this here. I liked him where he was. What I was thinking of doing was maybe using a strip of the moon and putting that up top to kind of speak to the black and white from the camel image. Doesn't look like a moon anymore. That's okay. Yeah. I like that. I think. It's just, it's a lot, the colors are just very different than what I typically collage with. So, it's just a little bit of a departure for me. This is very cool toned. I'm normally a, a brighter, bolder kind of person, but this is, I'm feeling this. 
do I want to add anything else? Do I want to move him to the center? See if we can do something with the sky. I like this a lot. Let me see though. Let me just do I want no. Okay. I want him back on the edge. Want that there. I like this. Do I want a pop of color somewhere or am I satisfied with this muted color palette? And I think I am satisfied with the muted color palette. It's just different for me, but I like it. The mountains are kind of hidden, but that's okay. I know they're there. But yeah, he's just going on a trip. He's going on a journey. He's looking into the void into the beyond. Maybe he's imagining what's possible. He has land, he has sky, he has space, he has a method of travel. I think that's the story. Okay, so this is the part where self-doubt starts to creep in. We start getting a little worried that we did something wrong that we're doing something wrong. I think I want something to go right here. Let me just take another strip of this mountain. Put that. There we go. That's better. Now, to start to combat all of my the doubts that are starting to swarm, I'm going to commit and start taping everything down. This is my least favorite part of collaging even though the word collage I think literally means to glue actually putting a piece together I just find it so boring so I I just have to get through it and start taping things And here we have the final collage. I think that this turned out really interesting. It has a cool vibe that I wasn't necessarily going for, but I liked how we stumbled upon this. I hope that you enjoyed this piece and that you enjoyed this process. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for future content. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Chaotic Collage, my website www.chaoticcollage.com and Etsy. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.